Hi, welcome to NationalEnquirer.com. I'm your host, Dorothy Cassisari, and today we're here at the New York Athletic Club in New York City with Pat Boone. No. How are you, Pat? No comment. <laughs> this is going to be a difficult interview. <laughs> well, you are turning 75 soon, is that you correct? You noticed ha somebody... Do we have to sing happy birthday to you? Well, no. <laughs> to be able to keep on enjoying everything physical, as well as writing books and doing TV shows and radio shows and, and um, recording and uh, running a record company and, and having a family and kids and grandkids and little uh, gun running on the side. I'm kidding about that. <laughs> I've also written a new book, which we're just starting to publish, and I want to get onto college campuses everywhere. It's, it's called Questions About God. Questions about God. And okay. answers that could change your life. Hmm. Hopefully for millions of people, it can be a source of great, great comfort and stability. Because if there is no God, then we're on our own, and there's nothing that comes later, and there's no rule for morality and uh, situational ethics uh, are perfectly fine. You have been so blessed to have a, a wife of how many years have you and Shirley, <laughs> speaking of comfort and stability, right. how many years have you and Shirley been married? This November will be 56. We've really been blessed, as you say, by recognition of the and realization of what the glue really is. You were quite the ladies man back in your heyday. You had girls going wild. One time in South Africa, I woke up one morning and there were three girls in my room looking at me as I slept. I don't know how they got in there, I never did know. Like any teen idol, and I was, and in fact, I guess I was the original American Idol because the viewers decided who won from week to week with cards and letters. So that's just like American Idol. And I did win three weeks in a row. Last time we met was in Memphis at the airport, a month before his death. And, and I slapped him on his stomach. I said, what's this, man? You, you taking all your money with you or what? He <laughs> says, oh, I've been eating too good, man, but uh, I'll sweat it off in Vegas. And he said, where are you going? I said, I'm going to Orlando. Of course, he'd said hello to the girls and Shirley. Orlando, I said, that's the wrong way, man. And he turned to his buddies and with that little sneer. He said, but then you were always going the wrong way, weren't you? <laughs> and I said, well, Elvis, it depends on where you're coming from. And we were making sort of a wry comment on the difference in our images. Mm. You know, he was going to the big international hotel in Las Vegas to headline a sold out month. And I was taking my wife and kids to a Tupperware convention in uh, Orlando. <laughs> I'd never asked Ozzy what he thought about my version of his song, and he didn't mention it, so I thought, well, he must not have liked it. I tune in to see his show, and my version of Crazy Train is his theme song. They're playing my version, Crazy, hey, that's how it goes. Right. My version of his song as his theme song, so of course he liked it. And then Sharon said several times on the show, oh, don't you miss that nice Pat Boone? Oh, it was the best bleep bleep neighbor we ever had. Now, he moves in next door to me, and I've never met him. One day I went out to get the mail, and I see him shuffling along on the sidewalk, and I hear myself say to Ozzy Osbourne something I never dreamed I would say, hi, neighbor. <laughs> it was almost like when I said hi to Elvis. Hey, oh, yeah, yeah, nice to meet you, Pat. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've got to go to AA meeting now, but, but, but we'll, we'll get together and have some tea, okay? <laughs> and so I didn't care about the oh, the bleep, bleep, bleep. I didn't care about that. Uh, <laughs> I, I enjoy them as people and friends. Well, Pat, thank you so much for joining us today. I enjoyed it, Daddy. It was a lovely conversation. We really appreciate your time. And we'll be looking forward to reading your new book. We thank you so much. This is Dorothy Cassisari. There are even pictures of me reading The Inquirer. So, the inquiring minds want to know. <laughs> Thanks for joining us at nationalenquirer.com. I'm your host, Dorothy Cassisari. Check back soon for more celebrity interviews.